Hey, Sheriff. It's real nice you'd offer to take her to Folsom like this. All right, you shut your mouth. It's making small talk, so I'm doing. Hey, listen to me, Tate. We got almost two days' ride till we get to Folsom. Nobody's gonna care. You get bruised up some. That horse ain't gonna feed itself. You slow down with that pitchfork, young man. Sometimes when you try to go faster, you only end up going slower. Supper's about ready, Matt. All right, we'll finish up here. Don't forget to wash up. Setting the table for me. What is it? Them Dell boys shooting up the saloon again? No. Eli Tate and Johnny Hogan. They're back. Go on in, Gail. Eli Tate's supposed to be serving life in Folsom. Hogan shot up the prison return. I just found out about it myself when Ben Perkins came running into the sheriff's office saying that he saw Eli stealing a chicken from his coop. Thinks boys made camp near the old mine entrance. Been thought about going after him with a shotgun. Decided to get help instead. That's probably why he's still alive. Why are the marshal? Prison escapes his jurisdiction. Already did. They're sending boys from Sacramento, but they can't get here to the day after tomorrow. Tate and Hogan will be on the move by then. I'll finish this up. You go say your goodbyes. Going after them. It's my job. The job you promised you'd quit. And I will. That's what you always say. Someday soon, Hank's gonna be the sheriff, and I will just be plain old Mad Austin Rancher. I promise. Just come home to me. Son, you still got your badge? All right. Listen to your mom. So when I come back, you can tell me all about him, okay? Be a good boy.
this fire's only a couple hours old. It means Tate and Hogan are still on the move. Well, why'd they come back here anyway? Why not make a run for Mexico? You put them up twice in the past six years. I gotta figure you'd be hot on their heels the first you hear their escape. What? They came back for me. Out of Mrs. Where's your husband? He's out with the cattle. He'll be back in a minute. What do you want? Well, I've got a score to settle, so I need to see your husband. I don't think he's out with the cattle. Where is he? See now, I think you're lying. And you know what I do to people who lie to me? I do bad things. I don't like it when people lie to me, so tell me where he is. I'm not lying. Just whatever. Just Take whatever you want. Just don't hurt my son. Tell me where he is. Hey! No, no. Tell me you're going after Tate and Hogan. Sheriff Austin I knew wouldn't get himself killed over revenge. I'm not the sheriff anymore. You don't even know where to look for him. I'll start in Oscar Rosas. Give me a few hours. Oscar Rosas is two days ride away. Tate and Hogan got a day's jump on me as it is. Get on back to Parkfield, Hank. Take care of your family. Please, we don't need any trouble. It's too late. We already got trouble. Come on, Samuel. What's holding you up, son? Eddie, he owns half the town. No man in his right mind will go against him. Well, it's a good thing I'm not in my right mind. Oh, Billy, you get down off that wagon right now. You will not take my son Mom, with you. Mom, I want to help. Eddie, you are my brother, and I love you, but this is a fool's errand. Lamar Horn is just looking for a reason to come after us. Don't give him one. And you listen to me when I speak to you. We will go into town another time. Listen to your mama. I didn't start this. Come on, let's go.
You have a whiskey? And leave the bottle? Yes, sir. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. There's room at this table, Mr. Aguilar. Much obliged. If you're gonna speak your piece, I suggest you do it now. Lamar Horn has ears all over Crockett. My guess is he knows you're here already. Well, I know you haven't lived here very long, Mr. Vaughn. But I'm sure you know about the problems that me and my family are having. Everyone knows about it, Eddie. What are you gonna do? I'm looking to hire some people. Somebody's been running off my cattle, destroying my property. I'll pay a dollar a day for your services. Now, that's better than anything you'll make working as a farmhand. Eduardo Horn. You're not causing any trouble for Mr. Horn, are you, Eddie? Nothing illegal about protecting your home. But it isn't really your home, is it? My family's lived on that property for over 90 years. Since California was part of Mexico. But it ain't Mexico anymore. And I'm sorry to tell you that the Homestead Act doesn't apply this far west. And I've already applied for that land grant. So next month, when the tax assessor gets out here, I'll be the one that holds the proper paperwork for that property. Yes. But only if you run us off. And me and my sister, we ain't leaving. Do yourself a favor, Eddie. We take the time right now to plan a proper future for you and your family. My offer still stands. You can come and work for me. You can provide for your sister and your nephew. You think you can just take whatever you want? Huh? Well, you can't have my ranch. A dollar a day to anyone who stands with me. <laughs> you think about it. I was just leaving, Sheriff. We still got business. I ain't got no business with you. My business is with Horn. See, this town is my business. I don't take kindly to people causing trouble in my town. Well, that it's Horn you need to be talking to, not me. This is my town. Get home, he's gonna need you in one piece. Do you understand? Put your head like this for me. And stay still. I'm gonna put some iodine on you. Okay. The idiot who gives his sister a lot of sleepless nights. We can't just give up, Amaya. This is our land, our home. Who's got no right taking it away from us? He goes behind the town's back, applies for hundreds of land grants, and doesn't even bother telling us about the tax man until it's too late. I'm not saying you're wrong, Eddie. I just don't know what we can do about it. They could have killed you. Hold this there. Yeah, well, next time I'm gonna be wearing a gun. Next time? 
Like you're gearing up for some big showdown? We need help, now. Help? Face it, we only have each other. There's no one else coming. People want to help. They're just afraid of Horn, that's all. And they should be. No one in this town is going to risk their lives or their families for us. We can't ask them to. Hold on, look. It's four weeks before the tax assessor gets here. We only got to hold off until then. But I'm going to find a way to keep us on this land. Please, just this once, listen to me. You need to stay in bed and let your body heal. I can't. I just can't. You took quite a beating last night. Just where do you think you're going? It's business. It's none of your concern. It is very much my concern. Bloody. I packed your saddlebag. Thanks a lot, Billy. Thanks. I'm going to hire her some help. Well, then I must be hearing things, because if I'm not mistaken, no man in Crockett wanted the job. Well, that's why I'm going to ask it also. Have you lost your mind? You remember what Papa used to tell us about that place? It's nothing but drunkards and outlaws. No one with whom a decent man would associate. Exactly the kind of people who were willing to take on the likes of Lamar Horn. Look, I'll only be gone a couple of days. I'll come back with some help. Eddie, you can't leave us alone. If Mr. Horn finds out that you left the county, he'll come down that hill with guns blazing. We'll be homeless by sundown. If you're gone, who's going to protect us? If I don't get help, there'll be nothing left to protect. Besides, there's no reason he needs to know what I'm up to. If anybody asks, I'm out with a cow. Samuel. Yes, sir. You look after him till I get back, right? Yes, sir, Mr. Aguilar. Horse is ready, sir. I'm going to take care of this. Hermanos, estoy buscando unos uh, pistoleros para que vengan a trabajar para mí. No, yo no. Vámonos. Último. Vámonos. Es que quiero mucho por eso, eh. Qué bueno. Whisky. A ver, ¿qué es lo que me ibas a decir? What you looking for, son? Poker game? Pretty girl? You name it, we got it. I'm looking to hire some guns. I thought the saloon would be a good place to start. Try them too. <laughs> they might fit your bill. Oh, come on, Tay. Don't get between a dog and his bone. He's with me. More whiskey? Yeah, let me have a bottle and uh, give me two more glasses, will you? for you. It's a lovely afternoon, isn't it? Surely you haven't come to discuss the weather. Actually, no. I've come to make you my final offer. You and your brother vacate the property, and I'll guarantee each of you proper paying jobs. We'll do no such thing. I expected that from your brother, but to be honest, Amaya, from you, I was hoping a little more common sense. Is it common sense to give up my home without a fight? What are you expecting, trying to hold me off for a few more weeks? Well, I should think that would be clear. Once the tax assessor comes and finds you have no claim to the ranch, there's nothing you can do to run us off. I liked your husband very much. He spoke highly of you as well. It's a shame he was taken so young. And you left behind to watch after your child alone. You think about my offer. I think it's good for everyone. We'll speak in a couple days.
So, what do you think? We're not gonna risk our lives for a dollar a day. All right, how about how about two dollars a day? Two dollars each. Each. Can you afford that? Of course I can. <laughs> I'd say you got yourself a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> a toast to saving my land and taking down an old crook. Are you shoot an innocent man? What the hell's going on? What innocent man? That one there. He wasn't with those roughnecks. Just come in here trying to hire some help. Give me some rags. Stay down. You're bleeding pretty bad. Take your land. You gotta tell her. You gotta tell her. You gotta tell her. I tried to stop him. Mister, I don't even know your name. Eddie. Eddie Aguilar from Crockett. Crockett. <laughs> just, just tell her. Ma? Yes? Do you think we'll get to stay at the ranch? I don't know, Billy. Well, Uncle Eddie will fix things. I know he will.
Would you be a Maya? You brought Eddie home. Yes, ma'am, I have. I just knew this would happen. I told Eddie to stay out of Asquerosos. You don't mind my asking, ma'am. What was a decent man like that doing in an outlaw town? We have some land troubles. And he figured a couple of hard cases and fix that? I told him it was a fool idea. Can I ask how it happened? I shot him. It was an accident. It should never have happened. I was looking for a couple of hard cases, too. Not to hire them, but to settle a score. Seems like we found the same two. I'd like to give them a proper burial, if you'd allow me. Billy, go take Mr. Austin to the bunkhouse to get washed up for supper. I think I've been a very patient man, Sheriff. I wouldn't have been half as nice with those Californios. My patience has run out. How soon can you have your men assembled? I can have them ready by tonight. Perfect. Just you and your mom on this land? Where's your dad? My pa died a long time ago, back when I was small. Uncle Eddie's been taking care of us since. Now that he's gone, I mean, nothing stopping Horn from chasing us off the land. Who is this Horn everybody keeps talking about? Uncle Eddie? He says he's evil. He lives in the big house on Whittles Hill. Buys up as much as Crockett as he can. What does he figure gives him right to your land? Our family came here 90 years ago and homestead the land. Back then it was Mexico, so we didn't need no proper deed. Everyone in Crockett is too afraid of Mr. Horn to help. That's why Uncle Eddie, he needed to find somebody that was too mean to be afraid. That's why he needed to find a hired gun. Away from the windows, okay? Yeah, but Ma! You listen to me and you stay inside! Ayudo, go away from fuera.
Sam. You know this man? Mr. Barnes. He owns the next farm over. I thought you said you had everything under control. I did, I did. They had a roughneck of their own. What, he hired himself a gun? Who? I don't know, but he had good aim. Better than any of mine. Shot Casey Barnes right out of the saddle. Still left to tell his wife. Have you started raising a team yet? I don't want to give Eddie that much time to recover. Eddie wasn't there last night. At least none of us saw him. But he's probably off raising a posse. Look, what I tell you about underestimating your enemy, Sheriff? Now, go find some men for me, please. Preferably somebody that can shoot. Look, I had enough trouble raising the three. After last night, none of the townsfolk want to join up. Now, you listen to me. You are in this just as much as I am. Now, you're not going to get your land if I don't get my water. Now, there are plenty of other towns out there, Sheriff. Go find me some men now. would have died. They would have killed us all for, for Mr. Austin. You didn't save Edmond. They saved us. Horn's men, they rode out like they were scalded. They'll be back as soon as Austin's gone. Where's he going? Don't be stupid. He ain't got no reason to stay. Shoot. He's probably fixing to leave right now. Samuel says you're gonna leave. Yeah, what Samuel says. He says you got no reason to stay. What do you say? I say we need your help. A lot of work to be done around this place, and we can't do it all ourselves. And Horn's men, they were afraid of you. They're sure not afraid of us. We can pay you. I don't need no money. Well, does that mean you'll stay? I'll stick around a few days, help you all get back on your feet. Then I have to go. I got a job to do. So, uh, what seems to be the problem? Well, I sent the sheriff out to the Aguilar Ranch to negotiate on my behalf. Well, seemingly, Eddie wasn't there. However, he did find Amaya Spencer alone with her young boy in some hard case that Eddie must have hired. I'll speak with her and I'll find out who that man is. You're a true friend, preacher. Thank you, sir. All right, Lamar. Is that the preacher? Good morning, Mrs. Spencer. Billy? Oh, uh, this is Matt Austin. He's helping out with the ranch for a few days. Can't say I've ever seen you around. What can we do for you, Preacher? Well, I heard about your running the other night. And I was concerned for your safety, Mrs. Spencer. Mr. Austin isn't like those guys that came around last night. No, I've done some, Sheriff. Never rode into anybody's place at midnight. Torches and rag tied around my face like a cow. Sure, I don't know what you mean. You do the Lord's work, preacher? Or do you work for Mr. Horn? Lars a friend of mine. But I assure you, I'm here of my own accord. I don't want you people to have any more trouble. Perhaps we could sit down with Mr. Aguilar and try and work things out. I'm glad he's dead. Very sorry for your loss, Mrs. Spencer. You go back and you tell Mr. Horn, he gets a chance. I want to meet him. shouldn't have spoken to him that way. 
The preacher's a good man. Everyone says so. He's just trying to help. Help like that can get you killed. You don't know that he's gonna go run back to Horn. Ma'am, who do you think sent him here? Supper's just about ready. Still a lot of damage out by the fences. Take a couple of days to fix them. So old Eddie went and got himself a sheriff. Did you happen to catch a name? Matt Austin. Well, Lamar, the boy said Eddie's dead, and Mrs. Spencer didn't deny it. Well, that poor woman. Losing her husband and her brother in two years. I made some allegations about the incident with the sheriff. They, they say the Montero's men rode about in bandanas, killed the ranch hand, and that they showed up in the middle of the night. Preacher. Now, you don't believe that our sheriff would have anything to do with that, do you? Now, I know you trust these people, but it's obvious they're willing to say anything. Austin said he'd like to meet with you. Well, that's a meeting we're going to have to arrange, isn't it? for a couple of hours. And I have seven. I won't get much protection if one's men come riding in here. But I think it's important that you go speak to him. Whatever you can do. Mr. Austin! Where are you going? I'll be back for supper. You promise? Oh. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm looking to hire some men to ride with me to Crockett. We've got some trouble in town. Hey, you guys would like me interested. Pays well. No. Think about it. Take care of yourself. You're looking to hire some men? Maybe. What kind of money? Pays good money if you're willing to get your hands dirty. I think you're looking for me then. I've been expecting you. Come on in. Take a seat. Can I offer you something to drink? No, thank you. Few things in life I find that satisfy me like a good brandy. You didn't bring me up here to talk about brandy. You're an astute man. Must have come in handy when you were sheriff. What was it, Parkfield, right? Well, here, let's just see what my associates did tell me. Yeah, that's right. Waco three years ago and Kilgore before that. Well, you're well informed, I'll give you that. Well, the telegraph, that's a remarkable invention. What used to take me weeks to get messages back and forth to my people now can happen in minutes. <laughs> Well, as you know, the job as sheriff here at Crockett's already filled, however. I could always use a man with your skills around. I've seen what your men do. I'm not interested. Amaya Spencer, she's a beautiful woman. She bats those beautiful eyes at you and spins some yarn about me stealing her land and you automatically assume it's true. Mister, 
If you really want to do what's best for everybody in this valley, you leave that family alone. You never told me you were a sheriff. Would it have made any difference? No, I guess not. There's plenty of questions I could have asked. Did you speak to Horn? I did. I'm sure he told you things about my family, with his fancy clothes and his big house. I'm sure his story sounded like the right one. You can look into things if you want, I'd understand. No, I can usually tell when a man's bluffing holding a pair of twos. Why'd you quit being a sheriff? I've been sheriff a lot of places. My wife, we thought we'd start a ranch and raise our boy somewhere. It wasn't meant to be. Ratchet pays well. Right, Bill? Yep. Well, you just wait and see how much somebody will pay for a fresh bushel of strawberries. But of course, we'll have to deal with some logistical issues. Crops like this need water. Yes, yes, yes. Please tell Maya I'm sorry to hear about Eddie. Seems like everybody knows. Well, it's a small town. Horn's men let it be known that uh, Eddie tried to hire some gunmen. They worship one in this town. And no wonder he had to go outside to find help. The thing I can't understand is why does he want Aguilar's land so bad? Well, there's a spring at the back of the property. Liquid gold, Horn calls it. Wants to turn Crockett into an orange grove. You got cause to do that? Depends on who you ask. Filed the land grant proper, but those grants were supposed to be for families who homesteaded before California got its statehood. Huh. Make them legal with the federal government. So everybody's so afraid of the boogeyman, nobody wanted to sign up and help Eddie. My people tell me that when the first train car filled with California oranges pulled into Grand Central Station, why the people lined up for blocks. I stand up against him, uh, he'll be the next victim. You gotta be somebody that ain't afraid. There's Lars Anderson. Warren had him thrown off the land last year. When I find him? Wait till, uh, sundown at the saloon. He works as a farmhand these days. Um, you didn't tell me this town was so close. No, I didn't. I know you. I don't believe so. Lars Anderson. Happy to meet you. Let me buy you a drink. No, it's all right. Uh, listen, I'm Matt Austin. I'd like to have a word. Matt Austin. Don't that just be it all? What does that mean? You heard of me? Just this afternoon, in fact. Let me buy you a drink. We'll talk about it. No, I'm not much for saloon. Let's just talk right here. Uh, I, uh... Look over at the local spread. We're going through the same troubles with the more horn I was going through a year ago. The sheriff's deputy is over there today, trying to scare them off their land again. They didn't see me by the barn. So what were you doing out there? Listening. Information's better than cash sometimes. Anyways, they was talking about a horn not figuring on you. They call themselves men. 
riding around, waving torches at night, shooting off guns, scaring a woman and boy. Well, I've seen it. One run me off my land. What claim did he have on your land? Borrowed some money. I'd back her up to you before it. I swear I thought I could pay it back. I'm just... I'm just waiting for this town to rise up against them. When they do, I'll be first in line to take my shot. Mr. Anderson, you may just get that chance. Be right back, Mr. Are you looking for me, Mr. Vaughn? Yes, I am, Preacher. I think we've got some trouble in our town. I'm concerned about the Aguilar family and this whole business with Lamar Horn. We've got to do something before somebody gets killed. Well, isn't that a matter for the law? No, I don't think so. I think it's time for a higher power to intervene. Good day, Preacher. Found out a few things. I need some fresh coffee. Would you like some? I believe I will. What did you find out? That's long past the time someone should have stood up to Lamar Horn. Eddie did, Mr. Austin. That's what got him killed. I know you're scared. But some things are worth fighting for. Do you have a plan? Get the ranch ready. Make a stand. Land office says in three weeks they'll have you a proper deed. It's still a long time. It's the best I can do. And how are you going to find men to help? Every person in this town is either afraid of Mr. Horn or thinks he's the second coming. I got a few ideas. Amaya, this land was homesteaded by your family, your blood. Horn has no claim on it unless you vacate. You need to understand, until this is all settled, neither you or Billy has to be on this property at all times. I wasn't expecting you until tomorrow. Yeah, I didn't like being away. Especially since I heard that Eddie was in Ascarosa not a week ago looking to hire these men. That boy was a fool the minute he walked in the bar. Yeah, he got himself killed in a bar fight. That's old news. Apparently, you're not the only sheriff here in Crockett. That roughneck down at the Aguilar Ranch is a lawman himself. Goes by the name of Austin. Apparently, he's a bona fide legend from Parkfield and some other parts. You think you can handle yourself with a man like that? Take these men back to town and put them up in my hotel. We'll speak in the morning. All set! Mr. Anderson, good morning. Preacher, what are you doing up this early? I'm looking for you. I knew you'd be headed off to the McKenzie's at this hour. You gotta go milk the cows before breakfast. Well, I was hoping I could speak with you. I thought that that's what we were doing. But if you're willing to walk, I'm willing to talk. Fair enough. Ma told me she saw you rope a runaway steer yesterday with one try. Do you think after breakfast you could teach me how? Well, maybe some other time. I got business this morning. What kind of business? I need to talk to a few people. You don't need to recruit no hands around here, Mr. Austin. I can handle all the work my own. Mr. Aguilar left me in charge after all. Oh, I'm sure you can. He means extra guns. 
Don't you, Mr. Austin? You got enough guns in this room right here. Oh, well, you can't possibly mean us. Trust that you men enjoyed your accommodations last night. Yeah, it was fancy hotels, lovely, just lovely. You, um, you built it. As a matter of fact, I did. Glad to know you can afford me. Now we've uh, settled on my wages, but I still don't know what my job is. Yeah, we'll let you know when you're needed. As a matter of fact, there is something you could do for me. I'd like you to ride down to the Aguilar Ranch and have a look around. But stay low, I prefer you not to be seen. What am I looking for? I know about the lawman. I want to make sure there's no other hidden surprises. Early, Mr. Austin. Looking for Lars Anderson. And I forgot to ask where he works. You're gonna hire him, aren't you? He works on the Mackenzie farm. It's about a mile west of town. You can't miss it. There's a sign at the entrance to their property. Much obliged. I think you're lost. No, nope, I think I know where I am. If you're one of Horn's men, you best turn around and leave. I ain't afraid of you. Be the Aguilar hand. What if I am? Thought they were friendly people. You get up on your horse and leave before I make you leave. Head of fact. All right. Mm. I'm walking here. You swing that thing one more time, I'm gonna take a fence. So you just keep it to yourself. What you doing, boy? Now I'm gonna put this stick down. Okay. Taking the blame for someone else's crime. I'm talking about the lawman. Matt Austin, the sheriff. You know, I know him better than you do. And you should be asking yourself a question. How did the sheriff know Eddie Aguilar? Why would the sheriff ride 100 miles to come to this ranch? Think about that. Wondering when I'd see you again. You expecting me? Well, I'm too many other people are angry enough for the horn to risk their lives to prove a point to him. How many men you got? Me, ranch hand. We held them off last time. So none. Is what you saying? If he failed the first time, he won't fail again. You're gonna need some help. You willing to replace my wage? 
I'll come out and stand with you. He quit your job. Just like that? Preacher came by the boarding house this morning. Told me I should help you. Help my wayward soul. Watch the store, Riley. I would appreciate it. Yes, sir. I should be back in about an hour. All right, Mr. Vaughn. You headed to lunch, Vaughn? Yes, I am. You mind if I walk with you? Actually, I do. You know, I've always been good to you, Vaughn. I helped you get situated when you first came to town. Save you a prime location for your establishment. It serve you more than it served me. The town needs supplies to grow. My store has done great things for you, Mr. Horn. Indeed it has, and I would like for our business arrangements to continue. But I don't feel comfortable working with somebody that I can't trust. Mr. Vaughn? Well, Mrs. Uh, Spencer, I don't mean to interrupt your meal, but I'm here to offer my services. Your services? Heard about Casey Barnes getting killed. Can't say I believe the official story of how it happened. I uh, figured you might need some uh, more hands to handle the next time uh, Horn's men come riding up the road. Thank you. We'd be so grateful for your help. Please sit down. Please have supper with us. Billy, please go fetch Mr. Vaughn a plate. Been doing this to you? Just one. Never seen him before. He leaner than the rest. Says he knew you. We need to get him into the house. Billy, take the team to the corral. Yeah. Lift him down out of there. Mr. Vaughn's gonna stay in the main house with you up tonight. Oh, no, don't you worry about us. We'll be just fine by ourselves in the house tonight. How's that? Is that too tight? It's fine. I've got Lars all squared away in the uh, bunkhouse. You've done so much for us already, Mr. Austin. I can't thank you enough. You're a regular hero, ain't you, Mr. Austin? Samuel. Horn's man says you got blood on your hands. Is that true? He told you about Eddie. You're the one that shot him, ain't you? That's why he felt guilty enough to bring him back. He tell you about his pretty sister? Widowed and alone here on the ranch? Samuel, that's enough. He shot Mr. Aguilar. I know that. You knew? You told me you had everything under control. I can handle it. Well, it sure as hell doesn't seem like it. You've already let Austin get all of Anderson. God knows who else they have up there. They could be building a fortress on that property. My property! Austin can have as many people as he wants. Because he's the only one we should be concerned about. Besides, we got him outnumbered. If I want your opinion, I'll ask you for it. I want to handle this immediately, Sheriff. I want those people off that property in 24 hours. Do you understand me? Ma says breakfast ready. W where's Mr. Vaughn? Isn't he on watch with Samuel? No. Thank you, 
for the generous contribution. Absolutely, sir. It's always a pleasure to see you. Lamar Horn? When are you going to stop hurting innocent people? Excuse me. I apologize. I'm sure I don't know what you're speaking about, Mr. Vaughn. But this is hardly an appropriate time or place to have this discussion. Why don't you come up to my house this afternoon? We'll have a cigar. Don't you turn your back on me. You are making a huge mistake. What are you going to do? Burn down my store? Have your henchmen beat me to a bloody pulp? This isn't about the greater good of Crockett anymore. I am sure the good citizens of Crockett would agree that I've been an upstanding, highly contributing pillar to this community. I've given my heart to these people. Samuel will forgive you. You just need to give him some time. Mr. Austin, we're not perfect people. We don't always make the right decisions, even when they're clear-cut. Mr. Vaughn told me about your... your wife and your boy. Yes, ma'am. I made a mistake. And it cost me. Being here, I see a chance to try and make it right. And I'm not leaving until I do just that. All right. All right it's time. Good. Yeah, try to get you get your shoulder right up on there. You can get your eye right down over it. Now lean into it a little bit. I won't kick you so much. All right? Okay. Me and things like that. <laughs> Uno mas. Pretty straight shooting. It's better. hide under a bed like a coward. I want to help. You're helping. We're outside. We're going to need somebody inside the house. Cleaning these guns. Reload. Am I really helping? Huh. You've been helping me so much, you leave me no choice but to deputize you. You mean it?
Thanks, Mr. Austin. I expect you to kill that long. Don't you worry about it. It's all taken care of. Are you ready? I thought I was going to take care of Alon. A couple of days ago, I would have expected it. But now I'm not so sure. We're going to ride in silent like. Nope. I want him to hear what's coming. Let's go, boys! <laughs> Taking them the horses. Hey, I put them in the barn. We have to set fire to the barn. Hey, that's wise. Well, I'm more worried about them getting turned out. <clears throat> Just give me a moment here. You uh, looking for this? There's a fierce pounding in my head. This here's the only cure. Exactly. I'm gonna need you sober. Please don't pour it out. That's all I got. Nah, don't worry about that. Before his day's over, we both might need a little something. like there's anybody here. Oh, they're here. I'm telling you, they're here. I'm gonna give you one more chance. I don't want to harm anybody. My man will let you and your family pack up your belongings and leave peacefully. I just want what's right for the people of Crockett. And this here property, the water that's on it is rightfully theirs. Maya, you're a good woman. You're a loving mother. And I know Heart to heart, you know the right thing. So I'm asking you for your son and for the people of Crockett to do the right thing. Amaya, I promise you, no one gets hurt. My word of honor. Lamar Horn! You ain't got no honor. You're never gonna have this property as long as I'm around. Only talking I'm gonna be doing. Is out of the mouth of this shotgun! Oh my god, really? 
your guns! Tate! Let the boy go! What the hell are you doing with the boy? Drop that gun, Sheriff. On the ground. Let him go! Put down your gun! You heard him. Put the guns down. Put your guns down! I ain't listening to you no more. You walk straight, boy. And this ain't about water. This here's about blood between me and the sheriff. You started this whole thing when you killed my brother. You took my family. Yeah, I did. I ain't done taking yet. Straight ahead, boy. This is between me and you, Tate. Let that boy go. Why don't you just keep walking forward and hand me that gun you killed my brother with how I use it on you? Not so fast. Other hand. Come on. So you want to switch you for the boys, yeah, yeah. Samuel was like a brother to him. First Eddie, then Herman, now Samuel. I don't know how we're supposed to heal from this. They say it takes time. It gets easier. I wouldn't know, though. So you'll be heading back to Parkfield now? I'm sure the town misses their sheriff. No, a badge feels a little heavy to me. Truth is, it, uh, it always did. So where will you go? Ma'am, I don't know that I'm needed anywhere. You think you might stay? It's a lot of work. Your ranch. It's not all gonna get done by itself. No, it's not. I suspect it'll take some time. <laughs> 